Hi y'all and welcome back to another video. Today I am here at the mall, specifically the Memorial City Mall. And I don't know what we're gonna be doing just yet, but I do know for a fact that Forever 21 is closing. So that's kind of the main reason why I'm here, but I also wanna check out Zara and other stores. It is currently two o'clock, let's go. I really don't know what the video is gonna entail, but you know, come along and find out. I am at Zara. I have been to a couple other stores, but I didn't feel like they were worth, oh my god, it looks so dark. <laughs> I have looked at a couple other stores, but I just didn't feel like they were worth looking at to show you guys, so. We're here at Zara, uh, just looking around, because I know price is a little crazy, but I like to look at the store. You know what I'm really trying to find? I'm trying to find some heels, some closed-toed heels for when I go out and it's cold, you know? Something like that, but not that. I will say this is a great place to find professional shirts, you know, if you have your first corporate job. A lot of things are questionable though, like this shirt. <laughs> For how much? $50, interesting. I feel like this is cute. I don't mind this, but I hate the material. If y'all know that material, like those um, itchy blankets, this is that, but it's cute. It's also a great place to find basic shirts like this. How much is this? $10, so not bad, you know. You just have to look around, y'all. Just look. Okay, see, that's cute. Somebody would definitely buy this. This is cute, and it's $60. Not bad. Oh, this biker jacket, $70. So cute. Oh, this one. I like this one better. The color of it is different. I like, and then that material, I don't know. Funny enough, this is actually where I got my shirt, the black shirt that I'm wearing now. I got it here. And it's only $15. I believe there were 10 when I got it, but, you know, inflation. And they also have long sleeves. This brown is not bad, or this gray. I might try the gray on and see how that looks on me. Looks like they're having a big sale, so run. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of sales because I never find anything I like, but if you have the patience for it, definitely come. Zara does have good material stuff, so at least come browse before all the good stuff is gone. I also don't mind coming to look at stuff uh, by the kids section just because it's cheaper, duh. And that's the same thing with shoes, so yeah, I have no shame. So we're at the kids section, and there's this and this, I'm sorry, but what little kid is wearing this? I hope that skirt is not for little kids, because that's crazy. That was $12. Shoot, I might try it on. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Get my waist in there. This top right here, I got it from Zara here. So y'all should come check it out. It's cute. It was affordable. And it's still, you know, still doing good. I'm gonna try the skirt on that I found at the kids section, which is very alarming to me because I also had other skirts like this for little kids. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I'm just gonna be an overprotective mom. But for me, that's a no for a kid. Sadly, the skirt does not fit. It wouldn't even go up my thigh. It wouldn't even go up at all. So, but hopefully someone gets lucky because it's $13 and it's actually super cute. 90% everything must go. Y'all see that? There's nothing in there. I guess I came a little too late. I am so dead, y'all. That's so funny. There's literally, everything's closed. Everything's gone. At least they got a wig, two wigs, some Halloween items. Um, let's see what crumbs they left. This is so random. I actually wouldn't mind this hat. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Feels cheap, but cute. Let's see. They got swimsuits up there, and I see X extra smalls, but they already look ugly from what I can see. <laughs> yeah, so swimsuits and interesting tops is what they have left. They have this top that's... <laughs> That's one thing that we're gonna miss um, with this store at least. I don't know if they're closing all the 421s. I don't think they are, but it's been a long time coming because I feel like things just got worse. Because <laughs> what is this, man? What is this? Bro, this is funny. That's so funny. I'm probably just leaving. They have some shoes over there. Let's see what shoes they have. Uh, interesting shoes. About why everyone left them also what size is this oh my god this is a size it's a size 10 they got some pants these tigers shirt of this and this looks like it's been through hell I don't know if you can see but there's fuzzies all over this top it's looks dirty and then these stripper platforms you know yeah I'm gonna leave now I'm at Aldo because Forever 21 was a waste of time and 
I'm really liking these shoes. I'm trying to get, like I said, some close-toed high heels. Okay, something like this, but with no feet showing, because that clear stuff, mm -mm, nope. Now I'm at Hollister, and I like these jeans, so, I mean, wait, no, no. These shorts, and I want to try them on. So I tried this shirt on because I thought it would be cute. It's knitted, but it's not cute on me. It's biker shorts. They are $30. $30 for this. The top is cute. But this. Alright, I didn't end up showing it, but I got some stuff from Aerie. I'll show y'all later. And now I am at Miniso. I'll be making a video very soon about this store. Not this one, but one of the stores. Seven dollars. Oh my god. These are so cute. This one has a little straw. Look at this little basket. Oh my god. I might get this. I don't know. I'll have to come back and see if I see something cuter. Look at this little towel. Dental flosses. Oh, so cute. What is this? I don't know if it's a tray for your soap or what. I got some scents type of things. This is so cute. Look at how cute these humidifiers are. Oh my goodness. I've never tried these, these lip balms, but y'all let me know if they're good, okay? Because I'm curious. <gasps> Look, what it, hello lippy. Ooh, a lip balm. Oh, that's so cute. Look at Karomi's big head on the front. Oh, look at this. $10, that's very steep. And see, this is what some of the things that were at the other store. How much are these? These are... Doesn't say. Doesn't say how much. Oh, why did I think this was strawberry shortcake from the back? <laughs> these piggies are kind of cute. I'm digging them. How much? Oh, $13. Not bad. See, compare that to the keychain. That's $9. Crazy. They got some Karomi gel masks. Hmm, interesting. Look at these little baggies. They're so cute. Oh my god, they even thought of dogs. Oh, look. These car air fresheners. Hmm. I gotta come snag these up because they're so cute. Oh my god, look at how cute these sponges are. <gasps> I love pears. Oh, an avocado. Somebody has to try these out and let me know how good these are. So I'm genuinely curious. I would have got one of these without the Elsa hair in the middle, but they're cute. They even have some Hello Kitty pillows. Oh, look at this little hat. More pet items. Look at these little bit lunch boxes, I guess. Oh, and they even have the fork and spoon. I have no clue what these are, but they're so cute. It says, what, is that? what are these? I'm very curious. Massage hammer. Okay, massage hammer. Interesting. Should I try one of these foods? Maybe we should make it a tradition that every time I come here, I get something to try. I might, depending on the price. Okay, I probably won't get, end up getting anything because the economy is bad and... We're talking, this is the cheapest one, $3. I was thinking about getting this one that kind of looks like the cheese puffs, but literally $6 is crazy. When you flip the bag over, most of these say this. Consuming this product can expose you to chemicals including acrylamide, which is known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. So now I am at Fat Rockers. These are one of the, this is one of the few locations left here in Houston. So... This is where I am. I love this place. I used to come here all the time and I love the old diner vibes. A couple hours later, but let me just show you what I got. So I only got two things. I got these black leggings and these are the seven, eight leggings. They have so many leggings, guys. Let me just tell you guys, if you ever go to Aerie, it's like legging heaven. And I just love these. Honestly, they are a little bit pricey, but I always look online for a coupon or sign up to receive text and get a coupon that way. Then at Hollister, yes, Hollister, I got this top. It looks better in person or on a person, I guess. That, and then I got this bralette. I don't think I own a bralette at all. And the only reason why I got this one is because it was 50% off. It has that little pattern in the front lace pattern i guess the main reason why i got it was because it was 50 percent off if you aren't already doing this please please calculate your total before you go pay 
because I calculated my total with the 50% off on this and it came out to be 40 something dollars. So when I get to the register and she tells me $65 is just not adding up. And I hate to be that customer, but honestly, guys, learn how to speak up for yourselves when it comes to things like that or if you care to save money, which I think we all do. And you know, you don't have to be disrespectful about it. You just just be respectful about it. Hey, I believe there was a mistake made. Can you check because this is 50% off? That's what I said. So then she goes to check. I don't know what she wanted to check because she came back and told me there was no sale. And so then I told her, does she mind if I show her where the sale was? She said, sure. So then I take her to it and then she says, oh. And then she gives me the sale. But I guess what happened was they had just put the sale out and it wasn't marked down just yet. So please, please fight for your discount, okay? I'm not saying I fought it, but I'm saying... You know, speak up. If you want the sale, speak up because that's honestly the main reason why I got it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got it. The main reason for me to go to Memorial was to go to Forever 21. And as you guys saw, it was dead. By the time you're watching this, it's probably already closed. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this a random little video. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Damn. Damn. Love and I Give me a run for my money